Hey guys, it's Adrian, and this is a video response to Andrew Bravner, because he's made a very big discussion on YouTube recently, and I felt like I should give my two cents. So if you guys haven't seen that video, annotation is either right here, or there's a link in the underbar. Andrew, you've kind of caught into this belief that if you don't make lots of YouTube videos, or if you're not making videos that hurt yourself, or, or just all around dumb videos, people don't want to watch you, and that the small YouTube community is actually disappearing, which is... I'm gonna argue is completely, completely fake. It's, uh, the small YouTube community is very muchly alive and very muchly well, and I think maybe you're having the problem, and the same problem that Zach's having. Zach put up a video, I'm sure you've seen it, because it's a video response to one of your videos, that he's talking about the same thing, where he feels it's gone because he doesn't feel connected to the community anymore. And the big problem I think you guys are having, you believe, or people believe, that you need to have 200,000 subscribers to be part of a community, and that's not true. Like, I, I've talked to Philip DeFranco himself, and he said that, you know, sure, yeah, he has a million subscribers and that he has a kind of community, but he doesn't interact with his community the same way I interact with my community, or half of the video responses, the people these interact with their, their community, because he's running a business now. I, Justine, runs a business, essentially. They don't, they don't interact with their people like we interact with each other. Um, the only person I've talked to that was a big YouTuber, when I was at when I was at VidCon, I did a whole crap load of interviews and I have a, a documentary that I'm almost done, uh, that was on online community, and the only person out of all of them was Dan Brown, which, Dan Brown's entire thing is he doesn't just want to make an interaction between himself and his community, but between the community and the community. If you go out there and find people, there's a lot of people, I guarantee you every single person that has made you a video response is part of the online community. The other one million people on YouTube? not really part of the community. They like watching, they, they're they part of the community in the same way that there's like a community of people that watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or a community that people that like watching Lost. They they get together, they'll get together on a forum and they'll chat about stuff, but they don't interact face to face. They don't make videos, or I'm not gonna say that not all of them. There is people, I have people that watch my videos that have really gotten involved that I know them, I talk to them, and they talk back to me that are part of my community that don't make videos, but for the most part, everyone that's part of the YouTube community make videos. In, in truth, I went through and there is four people that have made video responses that I either have watched their videos before or am subscribed to them. That, because that's the people that I interact with. Those are the people that are part of the online community. The YouTube community that we all want to be part of and that you're arguing against, like, oh, it doesn't exist anymore. It is not a big community. There is probably like hundreds or maybe thousands of us. That is it. There is not that many people that make YouTube videos that really talk to each other, that get involved, like, the first time I ever felt that I was actually part of the online community was when Gwenzilla, link here, I'm gonna put a link here to every single person I mentioned that I am friends with on YouTube. She did a video, like, a two years ago, I guess it would be now, that was an anti-Valentine's Day dance-off party video. And she said, hey, viewers, please make us a video, and I'm gonna put them in this awesome collab video, and it's gonna be a big secret, and then we'll release it. So I was like, hey, yeah, that sounds like fun. So I went and I emailed her and said, hey, I wanna be part of this, and she sent me stuff back. Since then, I've talked to Gwenzilla lots of times now, to the point where we actually are pen pals. I send her mail, she sends me mail. And then, on top of all that, I did that with a bunch of other people. I said, I wanna, I wanna send out snail mail letters to people, because I'm doing a challenge that makes it so I, I want to and need to. And since then, I have awesome pen pals. I have to write people back because I've been super busy this last four months, but I've gotten stuff from like BSB Elite, which is Ben. He sent me this. I have stuff from Not As Funny As We Think. She sent me this from the UK. I have just people that I've, I started watching that I found a, a video response they did, or I found a video they did, or they left a comment on my channel because they found me somewhere. And next thing you know, I have like all these friends. I have mass of friends that I've just accumulated that I went out and said, hey, I want to make a video response to you, and then you make a video response to me, and there's one thing I'm working on currently that I'm hoping someone will email me back about, is I want to make a video for someone else's channel, and then they make a video for my channel, and we put them up and be like, hey, I'm so-and-so, and I've taken over Joke Out of Catland's channel, which would be really fun and really exciting. I would love to do that. So if you guys have an idea of doing that, anyone, including you, Andrew, get involved with the small people again. You. You have this idea that it needs to be big and crazy and you need to get subscribers. Pff, screw subscribers. I don't need subscribers. I have like, what, 750 some odd subscribers. Like, that's a decent amount if you're just starting out on YouTube, but I'm, I don't care to have a million subscribers. I don't need a million subscribers. I'm not going to interact with a million people. 
Perfect example was VidCon. I went to VidCon last year, and I'm gonna go this year. And, you know, yeah, sure, I met Philip DeFranco, I met Dan Brown, Wheezy Waiter, everyone that I could possibly ever want to meet that was big YouTubers. But the thing is, I didn't really hang out with them. Yeah, sure, I hung out with probably... I hung out with Wheezy Waiter and Philip DeFranco a lot. Like, I went and had lunch with Wheezy Waiter, but the people that I really connected with were people that were there to see other YouTubers. People that are as big as me. As big as half the people that have, like, sent you a video response. I point here because my computer's here. For example, this picture here has me, I Justine, Live Love a Live, and AK Melza. Guess who I hung out with? If you guess AK Melza, you're completely right! Because that was someone that I connected with, that I became friends with. That, she, is one of those people that have become part of a community that I'm a part of now. Along with people like my girl Hero. I've talked to my girl Hero like three or four times on Skype because we've become friends like that. I've sent him mail. If you watch his videos, in the top corner there's this funny green robot thing. I painted him a picture and I sent it to him because we're friends. We're part of a community. The community isn't gone. It's it's changed. YouTube has changed. YouTube has become a business. Josh Reimer is 100% right. He made a video that a lot of people were like, Boo, Josh Reimer, you're, you're the devil, Josh. And no, he's not. Josh is completely right. Yeah, YouTube is a business. YouTube is a company. Philip DeFranco is a business, is a company. Josh Reimer is a business, is a company. They use things like, we're going to give away stuff. Give us likes up so people watch this video. As far as I'm concerned, you know, Philip DeFranco gets paid to make awesome videos about the news. To wrap all this up, the community is live and well, Andrew, and I greatly encourage you to make an entirely new channel. Don't tell anybody that you're part of that channel, and then start making video responses for the people that you like to watch. And then make videos that you think that you would like to watch and that your friends would like to watch. Half the videos on my channel I've, that are not just vlogs, are videos that I thought were really funny and that I really hope that my friends, that are other people that subscribe to my channel and watch my videos, would think were really funny. Because that's what's important to me. I, I work in the film industry as my actual day job. YouTube is what got me into to making videos and got me into being on film sets. But, yeah. Go out and be part of the smaller community because that's what you're missing and that's what you apparently need and what we should all need. I'm probably going to go through half these video responses and subscribe to half these people because they're all freaking awesome. All the people that I've had annotations here are going to be in the underbar. Go take a look at them, tell them that Adrian sent you and that they are awesome and that I love them all. Anyhow, until next time, ciao!